Dog, what is you doing? I ain't doing nothing, dog. Nigga, hell no. I caught you in 4K, freaky ass nigga. Which, nah, no, I ain't even doing nothing. Nigga, you ain't doing nothing. Turn around then, nasty man. What's good, GBO gang? GBO Juju back with another video for you. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. You feel me? Help this channel grow so it can reach all the people that it needs to. Today, I want to talk about sexual transmutation. For my men, y'all may know this as semen retention, but for my females, it's called sexual transmutation, all right? And we, we accept both of y'all around here. Take it from me, dog. I was a horny little jit, bro. I was a horny little jit. Every single day, bro, you could catch me on board. Every single, I'm telling you, without fail, without fail, bro, once a day type shit. And I stop. And if I stop, bro, you don't got no excuse. If I, bro, if I stop, you got no excuse, though. Sexual transmutation is the retaining of your sexual energy and the transmutation. The process of transmuting that retained energy into something else, whether it's a manifestation of business a vision that you have, whatever it is. It's basically taking your safe sexual energy and putting it into something else other than an orgasm. Y'all may be looking at it it's like, Julian, why the fuck would I do that? Like, bro, I like busting nuts and I can't blame you, bro. I'm a man too. So, man, for my ladies too, y'all not exempt. For my, y'all is not exempt. I know y'all horny too. So, I'm talking to you, you horny bastard. I'm talking to whatever you is. I'm talking to you. So understand this, right? Your sexual energy is your creative energy. That energy, whether it's through semen, sperm, or if you're female, eggs, right? That energy creates a human, dog, a living, breathing human. That's the power of creation. That's how powerful energy is. It creates an entire human being, right? But what a lot of us end up doing is, is because the matrix is so overly sexualized, because they want to push this agenda onto us, so we waste our sexual energy. A lot of us are caught up busting gallons of nuts or orgasming all the time excessively. And like I know some people that do it twice, three times a day, bro. And not gonna lie, a few months ago I was one of them. I, I was one of y'all. I, I was I was busting gallon the nuts on myself and maybe using energy on people that I shouldn't. I was always in a deficit. Understand that for my men out there, I'm speaking to my men right now because females, I don't know too much about this of you, right? But I'm gonna talk to my men out there, right? It takes at least, at least, I'm, it's different for everybody, but I'm saying at the very least, it, it takes seven days for your body to even recover from it. I'm not saying regenerate. I'm talking about recovered. Get to the point where you're viable again. It takes seven days. And I know damn well that if you haven't heard about this before, if this is your first time hearing this, you was not going seven days between ugh. Our body's first line of action is to reproduce. As males, that is what we do. We are here to reproduce. So whenever you are spilling your seed, your body stops everything else it was doing other than like the necessary things to live, of course. I'm talking about in other priorities other than like breathing and shit. It takes away all that is doing and puts it into regenerating your seed back. You know how after you bust, right? You be like, oh, you just feel like sluggish and you don't want to do nothing. That's because you have let go of all your body's energy, right? And now your body is rushing to reproduce that energy and a lot of us don't even give it the proper time to, and we just end up constantly doing it and doing it, and our body never gets the chance to regenerate itself and better itself. Because your body is constantly trying to better itself, whether it's in health, whether it's in looks, whether it's whatever it is, in spirituality, mentality, whatever it is, your body is always trying to become the best version of itself. But when we're constantly putting ourselves in the deficit, we don't give our, ch our bodies a chance to do this. Other than all that biology, Let's get into the benefits, right? Because I know that's what you're here for. What will this do for me, dog? If I stop busting nuts, bro, what am I going to get out of this? Because if I don't get out of this, I'm not going to do it. Fuck all that shit you talking about. 
I need benefits. And you know what? I got you. First off, the first benefit that you're going to get, and this is the one that you see the quickest, energy. You get energy out the ass, bro. After one week, bro, you will be feeling like you geeked up. You feel like you popped a perk or something, bro. Like you will just be wanting to do shit and do shit and do shit. Because now you're giving your body the chance to recuperate its energy. For all my spiritual folk out there, your sexual energy is the kundalini, right? The kundalini is represented as a serpent that goes all the way up your spine. What we commonly misunderstand is a lot of the spiritual symbolisms is actually just telling us about stuff in our actual body. What the kundalini is representing is your cerebral spinal fluid. A fluid in your spine, right? that once it touches this, once it touches that pineal gland, that's when you get awoken. That's when enlightenment comes. Cerebral spinal fluid is at the bottom of your spine, right? Your semen has cerebral spinal fluid in it, right? So if you are constantly releasing that, you're releasing your spiritual energy, bro. So if you talking about, oh, I opened all seven of my chakras, I'm enlightened, I'm whoa, dog, and you haven't been one week, cat, my nigga. You capped, it's impossible. I'm telling you right now, you haven't done shit if you haven't gone at least a week. It actually takes, it takes like three months or something for it to fully regenerate. But I'm talking about if you haven't gone at least a week and you talking about that shit, you joking, you a joke, you cap. The way you get your cerebral spinal fluid to travel up your spine is by pressure. The pressure that generates that is through your prostate and through your root, it's through your root chakra. Your root chakra, once you build it up enough and you strengthen it, then it can take that cerebral spinal fluid. Your kundalini energy is now able to start traveling up. But you have to start by healing your root chakra. You have to retain from spilling your seed because spilling your seed weakens your root chakra, right? So you have to you have to take periods of time to take to do that. But let me get back on track. The energy you get from it, dog. When that cool boy, when that cool starts shriveling up your spine like these, boy, I'm talking about you feel like you can do it. You feel like Superman and Superwoman, bro. You feel like Superman and Super. You feel like you can manifest. You can go out and do. You can talk to anybody that you want because now you have energy too. Now your energy is more, it's stronger. Now you're feeling better. And Another benefit, right, for my males out there, now you get your testosterone back. A lot of y'all probably watch like Steph is Cold, AMF, all these people. When they talk about being alpha, do you know what your alpha energy is? Do you, do you know what all alpha energy is? It's testosterone. It's how a man acts when he actually has testosterone. But because we're so overly sexualized, we're constantly spilling our seed everywhere. And we don't understand that our seed has our testosterone in it. So when you retain your seed, now your body is able to reabsorb that testosterone and now you become alpha. Now that energy is just radiating off of you and boy, they sense it. I'm not gonna get into that. You got other channels, go watch Sublime Conscious, go watch Steph is Cold, go watch them for that. But I'm, boy, they, they sense it. Not only does that happen, you feel a lot stronger. Now your muscles get more defined because now you're keeping your testosterone. All right, so stop doing that shit. Stop wasting your seed everywhere. Stop wasting your seed on these bitches that are low vibrational and got nothing going on for themselves and wasting it on a sheet or a toilet paper, especially that, bro. Especially, come on, what is you doing, bro? What is you doing? I have a challenge for you. Female, male, I don't care what you is. Female, male, seahorse, whatever the fuck you are, whatever you wanna be, Take seven days, seven days, no porn, no whatever you do, no release, just seven days to keep your energy, right? And after them seven days pass, I want you to write down all your benefits and comment them here. And I want you to tell me whether you're going to keep doing it or not. And I promise you the majority, at least 95% of you who actually do this are going to say yes. Because you're going to realize that what I'm talking about right now isn't cap. I'm telling you as somebody who does this shit. I'm telling you, I'm not talking about some people that just take information. I'm talking about as somebody who does this shit, bro. After one week, my entire life changed. And I'm telling you it can happen for you too. If you take that discipline and you take the strength that you have and do it. Now, it's going to take 
mental strength to do this. Like, there's been nights at 3 a.m. in the morning, bro. I had to get up and start doing push-ups or something. Because mom, I was thinking about, oh, I should text Shorty. Oh, I'm going to, oh, I should do this. Bro, it is a mental battle. Once you control your sexual urges, everything else is easy. Everything else is easy. You're going to be looking at certain thought processes that you have. Like, dog, I was really stressing over that. If I could, if I could hold my sexual urges, this is life, bro. I could talk to that female. I could start my business. I could, I could make a YouTube channel. I could do whatever. Bro. I'm that nigga. Honestly, I'm that nigga or I'm that bitch. Honestly, nothing can stop me. That's how you're gonna be feeling after seven days. I said, after seven days. That's my challenge to you. Take seven days for yourself, and you are gonna see the benefits. All right, GVO gang, I love y'all. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I have all my socials and shit, bow, 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 all in the description. Hit me up. I love y'all. GVO Juju signing out. This year, better have a cool